Welcome to Charleston Parents Connect. I am Danica Todd, your certified doula, licensed massage therapist, and certified yoga and Pilates instructor. It is my intention through sharing content and creating community to transform your relationships, inspire connection, and lead communities to live unapologetically. In honor of Breastfeeding Week, I am going to push back our video on potty training. And today, we are actually going to talk about the different positions that you can hold your baby when you are nursing. When I check in with my doula families around the six-week mark, I always ask them what was the biggest surprise or challenge that they didn't expect before they gave birth. And nine out of ten times, they say it's actually breastfeeding. It always seems like such a no-brainer, right? Your baby's born and they're hungry, so you bring them to your breast. But it isn't that simple. You have to learn each other's cues, learn how to latch, and learn how to hold your baby. You are going to recognize an overall theme in the following photos. So before we get started, I would like to ask you to turn your head over one shoulder. And now swallow. How did that feel in your neck? Was it comfortable? Did it feel easy? Restricted? Now let's try it again, but this time I want you to look straight forward. Okay, now go ahead and swallow. Did you notice anything different? You did? All right, awesome. So. Now let's look at the different ways you can position your child when they are nursing. So here we have the cradle hold, sometimes called the crossover hold. This position is the most used position of all the ones we will look at today. There is a couple things I would like for you to see in the image with the baby. So can you see how the baby's face and the belly are both facing the mama? and how the ear, the shoulder, and the hip are all lined up. The hips aren't rolling away from the mama in a twist. And remember how I had you turn your head to swallow? When we don't keep our baby lined up properly, it can feel restricted to swallow, and sometimes they may even lose suction and suck in air while they're nursing which can cause painful burping or gas bubbles later. So that's why I had you turn your head so you could um, feel the difference. Now let's look at this mama. The shoulder on your left, her right, is a little high, but other than that, she looks comfortable. Her shoulders are rolled back and mostly down, meaning she isn't rounding around her baby. And look at her hand holding the baby's head while you nurse. You never want to hold the baby in the crook of your elbow. You will hold the baby in the crook of your elbow. Yes, you heard me right. I will repeat. You will end up at some point holding the baby in the crook of your elbow. We all do it. And when you catch yourself doing this, bring yourself back into position, either by holding their head with your hand or the crook of your wrist. On our next slide shows the football. So we've gone from the most used position to the most underused position in nursing. Body alignment for your baby is all the same. No matter what position you bring them to your breast, make sure their ear, shoulder, and hip are all lined up. This posture is great for when you notice they are latching and feeding well on one side and not the other. You can trick them into thinking this is their favorite side by bringing them to your breast in the football hold. So just remember, ear, shoulder, hip, and then mouth and belly come towards your body. Next, we have the sitting position. This can be done with them literally sitting at around six months old 
And you can also mimic this position with them sitting in a, a carrier. You would just loosen the carrier straps a little to lower their head to your breast level and then latch. Again, notice how the children are lined up. Ear, shoulder, hip, belly and mouth towards the mama. So let's now look at the side lying position. Baby is once again supported on their back so they don't get lazy and roll away from mama so that they're belly to belly and both of them have their ears, shoulders, and hips all lined up. What are you thinking now that you've seen the video? What questions do you have? Did you notice any good tips? Is it, I'm gonna warn you that it is going to be hard to see what's going on while you are the one doing the nursing. So ask for support from the people around you to help look at your body posture and the baby's posture. Breastfeeding is one of the hardest things that you will love doing with your baby. You will have moments where you want to quit and you will have moments of pure bliss. Just know that you are doing amazing and that there are two of you in this game. You are not the only one nursing. So is your baby. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Happy breastfeeding week and I promise the potty training video will air next Friday. Don't forget to subscribe now so you won't miss any new information and I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.